guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here my name is Kay and together with my husband Dan and our toddler Logan I create lots of Disney family travel and lifestyle content. If that sounds up your street then please give us a wee subscribe and don't forget to like this video. So today I'm going to be packing everything for myself and a few things that my husband shares with me. I'm not going to be packing everything for him because he'll probably do that like a day before we leave for our trip. But I'm also going to be filming a pack with me for my toddler so if that's of interest to you then make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on so you don't miss that next week. So let's get packed. Now first things first, what am I going to be wearing on the trip? Now for travel day I am just going to be in some comfy leggings. These ones are a brand called Lovell, I think they used to be called Love Leggings and I actually discovered them when I was pregnant looking for maternity leggings but they also do normal leggings and these are super comfy. I'll wear that with a spirit jersey, I think I'm going to wear my Disney World 50th spirit jersey that I took on our last trip and I'll also be wearing my denim jacket, not that I technically need this for the flight but it just means like one less thing I need to put in my suitcase so I'll wear that and my sketchers as well. Now in terms of what I'm going to wear each day of our trip I have had a wee check of the weather and it looks like it's going to be pretty nice so it's going to be very much like floaty dress and skirt weather. Now we'll do a little try on here of everything I'm going to wear as well so we have four park days the last of which is also our travel home day. So on our first Disneyland park day I plan to wear this red polka dot dress. It is very Minnie Mouse and I'll wear it with these ears because I just love a little bit of Disney bounding. Then when we head to the studios I'm going to wear my blue cloud dress. There is a Toy Story area in Disneyland Paris too and I wore this in Hollywood studios as well and it just gives you like Andy's bedroom vibes. On one of our other Disneyland park days I'm also going to wear this floaty sort of more muted red skirt and just a little like white vest top as well. And then on our last day so that I'm a bit more like comfy for our flight home in the evening too I'm going to wear this super cute Dumbo sparkly t-shirt. This is originally from Zara but I got it on Vinted. I think it was for sale quite a long time ago. So I'm going to wear that with some like linen trousers as I figured that would be kind of appropriate for the flight home as well but they're still like really lightweight as well. And I'm also going to be packing these ears which I think will go really well with the last outfit and I might throw on with some other outfits as well. Now in addition to my main like planned out outfits I also take a few extra bits just in case anything gets like dirty or the weather doesn't turn out how we're expecting just so I've got a few backups. So I will be taking my Disneyland Paris spirit jersey in my suitcase. I'm sort of expecting I'm going to buy another one on the trip too um, but just so I have like a Disneyland Paris one with me as well especially when we go back in the evenings and it gets a bit chillier. To preserve my dignity I also like to pack a few pairs of cycling shorts in my bag. I wear these under skirts and dresses in the parks and then I don't need to worry when I'm like getting on and off rides or if it's a little bit windy so yeah definitely wouldn't go to the parks without them. I also like to make sure that I'm prepared just in case the weather doesn't turn out as great as we're expecting so I will be packing one pair of jeans another sort of spare cardi light layer and in case like anything gets dirty there is a spill Logan puts his hands all over me I like to know I've got a spare Mickey t-shirt and just like a spare little vest top as well just in case. Now obviously I'm also going to be packing my pyjamas and socks and underwear which I'm not going to show you and um, but yeah the basics will also be there. Now in terms of shoes I'm going to probably be in my black comfy sketchers that I'll be travelling in for most of the trip but I'm also going to be packing my white Tevas. They're a little bit grubby now, they've been around a bit um, but they are super duper comfy even like walking around the parks so if I do like get a blister in my sketchers, I can swap to these for a day or if it's really hot and I just like want a little bit more air I've got these in my bag and they don't take up too much space. Okay so in terms of toiletries I'm going to be taking this bag with me. The brand is 195. It's a really eco-conscious brand and um, it's just a beautiful toiletry bag as well. Um, it's got this like little insert here so you can like easily slip this out. I am going to be taking mostly miniatures even though this will be in the main suitcase and um, just like to reduce the amount of stuff I'm taking given that it's only a four night trip. So I won't bore you with everything that's inside this, obviously I have all my normal like toiletry products and um, I also have my body glide and my contact lenses but this fits absolutely everything that I need in it and that will just go neatly inside my bag as well. 
Now in terms of makeup, I'll obviously be taking my makeup bag as well. I'm a super big Harry Potter fan as well. This was from Primark a really long time ago. Again, I'm not going to bore you with all of my makeup that I take. I don't wear masses of makeup in the park, but I wear like a BB cream that has SPF in it um, and some powder and things. Um, but one of the main things that I definitely wouldn't go to the parks without, wouldn't go anywhere without, is like a makeup fix. And I'm using Urban Decay's at the moment, um, so that'll definitely be coming into the parks with me as well. And something I feel like it's actually quite easy to forget is baubles. Now I definitely need them for like night and I might want to like tie my hair up to go on a particularly ruckus ride. And um, so yeah, I'll have a few different kinds of baubles in my bag as well. In terms of my hair, I'll have a few things in addition to the average shampoo and conditioner, including my leave-in conditioner, which I put in before I dry my hair, and my hairbrush, and a little tangle teaser for the parks as well. I'll also be packing everybody's toothbrushes. I haven't packed the toothpaste yet, as I'll throw that in at the last minute, but we have like specific toothbrushes that we take for holidays rather than taking our big rechargeable ones with us so they'll be coming with us as well. Now in terms of medication I'm definitely a bit of an overpacker um, but it's the one area that I'm absolutely fine with over preparing. So we got ill on our last trip and I was very grateful that I had lots of things with me. Now obviously I packed like Calpol, painkillers, um, prescription medication, plasters, blister plasters. I've also got like Vicks for my son. I've got anti-diarrhea, anti-sickness, all of the good things. And I will be keeping this in my hand luggage when we go through security. As honestly, if I lost this in the hold, I would be super duper stressed out. So this will be in my bag, in the hand luggage when we go through security. Now preparing for the sun, I'm going to be taking a few fans with me. This one here is a bit bulkier, but my thought was this might be useful in the room if for some reason our accommodation is quite stuffy, um, so I will be taking both fans. I'll also be taking plenty of sun cream, which I've chatted about in this planning series a lot so far, and a few pairs of cheap sunglasses for myself because I am absolutely useless at losing sunglasses, so I honestly do not deserve like fancy sunglasses. So I'll be taking these two which I got from Primark recently for a few pounds each. So in terms of jewellery I have a few Disney-esque pieces so I'll be packing these in this little silk bag. I've had this since I was about 15 and it's great for travel so I'll pop them in here and take them with me as well. In addition to our more traditional backpacks, I'm also going to be taking my Purple Wall lounge fly with me. I absolutely love this. It was a great find on Vinted um, and I will be stuffing this full of lots of bits and pieces so that it's not wasting space in our suitcase as well. So I've chatted about quite a few of these things in my What's Inside My Disney Park bag video, which you should definitely check out after this if you haven't watched it. But some of the things that I'm going to be stuffing inside the lounge fly include face masks just in case remember those days when we used to wear them all the time i'm also going to be packing some rain covers for our backpacks and some rain ponchos as well so i'll stuff all those inside along with other small bits and pieces just to make sure that the lounge fly doesn't technically become a bit of a waste of space <laughs> now again i've chatted about this one already but we'll also need space for our chili bottles these will go on our backpacks and um, so we'll take these through security rather than using up space in the big suitcase now in terms of tech i'll be packing more tech than the average person because i'm going to be vlogging this trip i will obviously have my camera which I keep in this bag with like tripods and spare batteries and spare SD cards. I can't show you the camera right now because I'm actually using it um, but this is a really lightweight bag and um, it doesn't take up much space at all and I will be taking this in my hand luggage again just so I'm not like putting it in my suitcase and losing things which would be a bit scary. <laughs> Now for peace of mind, I will also want to be backing everything up for this trip. So I will be taking my laptop with me with a cover on it, which I've ordered and hasn't arrived yet. So that each night I can back up all my footage because the idea of like a memory card breaking and losing half our trip fills me with dread. I will therefore also have chargers for the laptop and we're also going to be taking our iPad with us. This will be used by Logan most likely on the flight to watch things and as a backup if we go for dining and he's not feeling so great. And the bonus of this is it actually uses the same cable as my laptop so we don't need to take quite so many chargers. 
Now for our park days, I'll also be taking a charging bank so that I can take this into the parks and charge my phone during the day and obviously like spare charging cables as well. I'll also be packing lots of European adapters. I've got like four of these and I think my mum is going to throw in some more as well so we should be okay. Now last but not least in terms of tech we also invested in some Apple AirTags for our last trip. These were a great call to be honest even though they are a little bit pricey. We put these in the hold luggage while we were flying last time and it gave us peace of mind that our suitcases were actually on the plane with us before we took off and then when we were in the parks we put them in our backpacks and one of them in the buggy just again giving us peace of mind that if we like lost something or somebody tried to steal something it would be quite easy to track down where they were. Thankfully we didn't lose anything apart from a hat and that did not have an air tag attached um, but definitely something to consider for your next trip. Now finally from an organisational point of view we also have this handy holder that we keep all of our passports in. I also have like our UK global health insurance cards in here and any other cards that we might need for our trip. I just got this on Amazon as well and it's been perfect for us and it's not too big and it just keeps everything together. So if we do get physical boarding passes which sometimes happens sometimes doesn't we'd also keep those in here. Now I am also a little bit of a Monica when it comes to planning um, and so I always like to have a folder with absolutely all our paperwork for our trip printed out. This one still says Walt Disney World. My husband did chat about actually changing it so it says Disneyland Paris um, but yeah basically I print all of our confirmations and reservations out and I keep them in here which is absolutely great and I would just not go on holiday without. And I think that's about everything that I'll be packing for our trip. Um, there are a couple things that I won't be able to pack right now like cables and toothpaste and my camera equipment which I'm still using but I'm going to try and get as much of it packed away in the suitcase now while I can and then we'll almost be ready to go. Okay, I think that's about everything that I can possibly pack for now. This is actually probably gonna go in Logan's suitcase because he will have more space and then Dan will have this whole half of the case for all his things. I've also put like the ears and my Tevas in this top section, but there's more space there for Dan to add his shoes and any other bits as well. And I can't believe that's me all packed. As I say, there's a few things that I'll need to throw in later, like my camera equipment and my makeup and things like that, but it feels good to finally actually have the cases out and have things inside them as I just had like piles of stuff building up in my room. I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you found a couple of things I mentioned a little bit informative. I am super excited about our trip now and finally like having the suitcases out and having things inside them rather than just like piling up in my bedroom is getting me so excited for our trip. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our toddlers pack with me video which will be coming next week and the vlogs which will be coming not too long after that. Bye!